Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with soil mechanics in the topic of seepage. So the first question, the portion between two successive flow lines is known as option A field channel, option B flow channel, option C open channel, option D all of mentioned. So the correct answer is option B flow channel. So next question, who was the first to give a graphical method of flow net construction? Option A Casagran. Option B Dossi, Option C Fronchimer, Option D Kozini. So the correct answer is Option C Fronchimer. So next question, the Dossi law governing the flow of water through is related to which of the following law? Option A Ohm's law, Option B Stokes law, Option C Faraday's law, Option D none of mention. So the correct answer is Option A Ohm's law. So next question. The flow lines and equivalence lines are option A parallel, option B perpendicular, option C elliptical, option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option B perpendicular. So next question, the hydrostatic pressure in terms of basometric head can be calculated from the which of the following equation? Option A, HW equal to H minus Z. Option B, HW equal to H plus Z. Option C, HW equal to U divided by gamma W. Option D, HW equal to H by Z. So the correct answer is option A, HW equal to H minus Z. So next question, the seepage medium can be replaced by dash electric method having the same geometric shape. Option A, potential divider. Option B, insulator. Option C, electric conductor. Option D, potentiometer. So the current answer is electric conductor. So next question, what will be the hydrostatic pressure if HW equal to 30 percentage and Z equal to 10 percentage? Option A 30 percentage, option B 10 percentage, option C 40 percentage, option D 50 percentage. So the correct answer is option C 40 percentage. So next question, in homogeneous soil every transition in the shape of curve drawn in flow net must be option A smooth, option B sharp, option C rough, option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option A smooth. So next question, the exit gradient can be expressed by which of the following expression? Option A, IE equal to del H divided by I. Option B, IE equal to del H into I. Option C, IE equal to L by H. Option D, IE equal to H by I. So the correct answer is option A, IE equal to del H divided by I. So next question, if a fully saturated soil mass has a water content of 100%, then its void ratio is option A, less than the specific gravity, option B greater than the specific gravity, option C equal to the specific gravity, option D does not depend on the specific gravity. So the correct answer is equal to the specific gravity. So next question, what are the essential required to draw near flow net? Option A top flow and ferritic line, option B streamline, option C none of mention, option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option A top flow and ferritic line. So next question, the ferritic line can be located by which of the following method? Option A, graphical method. Option B, experimental method. Option C, analytical method. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option D, all of mention. So next question, Cosini's top flow line is called option A, basic and base parabola. Option B, simple parabola. Option C, none of mention. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option A, basic and base parabola. So next question, for the water flowing above in impervious infinite horizontal plane, the net flow is given by option A, Cassegrain, option B, Cosini, option C, Fronchimer, option D, Dossi. So the correct answer is option A, Cassegrain. What is the line within a dam section below which there are positive hydrostatic pressure? Option A, phreatic and seepage line. Option B, equipotential line. Option C, none of mention. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option A, phreatic and seepage line. So next question, the flow lines and equipotential line proposed by Cosney in the shape of option A, hyperbola. Option B, ellipse. Option C, parabola. Option D, circle. So the correct answer is option C, parabola. So next question, the analytical solution of Schaffernick and Van Etterson gave a result only for slope having option A alpha, 
greater than 30 degree option b all for less than 30 degree option c all for greater than 60 degree option d all for less than 60 degree so the correct answer is option b all for less than 30 degree so next question what kind of method was suggested by Casagrande for determining the phreatic line option a experimental method option b analytical method option c graphical method option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option c graphical method so next question the phreatic line is defined as the line within the dam section below which there are dash in dam option a positive hydrostatic pressure option b negative hydrostatic pressure option c neutral hydrostatic pressure option d no hydrostatic pressure so the correct answer is option a positive hydrostatic pressure so next question the focus in an earth dam was no filter is option a lowest point of downstream slope option b highest point of downstream slope option c high flood level option d medium flood level so the correct answer is option a lowest point of downstream slope so next question the slope of discharge phase can be exceed option a 30 degree option b 45 degree option c 60 degree option d 90 degree so the correct answer is option d 90 degree so next question the phreatic line is also known as option a seepage line option b discharge line option c velocity line option d pressure line so the current answer is option a seepage line again we will see next video thank you